mask as part of a costume would not be considered to be protective against uh, transmission of infection. So we are talking about cloth masks uh, that properly cover your nose and mouth. And we would uh, discourage wearing a cloth mask underneath a Halloween face mask because that can impair breathing or make breathing difficult. People should wear a cloth face covering that covers their nose and their mouth. There are some nice Halloween prints that they're, they're making now, but we are discouraging um, wearing them underneath a costume mask. And a costume mask itself um, does not provide protection against uh, transmission of the virus. Um, we do know that screaming generates uh, respiratory droplets and so even uh, keeping more than that six feet of distance is recommended in those situations. So in terms of uh, people who are going to proceed with Halloween celebrations this year, uh, definitely if you're sick or you've been exposed to anyone with COVID-19, we would recommend against any activity where you're coming into contact with other people. Um, if you are going to be in contact with others from outside of your household, uh, definitely wearing a cloth face covering. Make sure that you're washing your hands frequently for 20 seconds, either using soap and water or an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. And really trying to adhere to that six feet of physical distancing will uh, be the measures that keep you and your family as safe as possible. Uh, had, having activities outdoors instead of indoors um, is also another way to reduce the risk of transmission. But unfortunately, there's no way to uh, reduce the risk to zero uh, anytime you have people from different households interacting, especially given the amount of transmission we're seeing in our communities still.